Hey y'all, so today I am doing a review of these little molds here. They're actually egg poacher bowls. Um, so I figured since I'm making me a little brunch, I might as well do a review and see what they work like. So it comes two in a pack. I put a link down in the description box to where you can find them at. Um, so basically you have these two little molds. I only need one because I'm only making brunch for me because, oh, sorry, oh, and fingers in the way, because Minnie is having his nap. So just regular egg, it's a large egg. The goal is to crack it gently into the bowl so that you don't break the yolk. I think I did pretty good there. And the next step is to place it into the boiling water. I've got a large pot of boiling water because I was not only boiling water for my egg, but also, ouch, but also for my coffee because yeah I'm quite thoroughly entertained by the French press right now and so so as you can see the egg is in the pot see the water boiling I'm trying to get y'all focused here okay have to turn on the light um as you can see Got a bit of the egg white in the actual water. Luckily, I already took my coffee water out. It's already in the French press. But you see it starting to turn. Oh, steam. You see it starting to turn white around the edges already. By the way, this is my first time having a poached egg. So we're going to see how that goes. But I guess I'm just going to leave it until it all cooks. And then I'll be back. Okay, just popping back in to do a little check-in. So, it's been cooking for approximately 3-4 minutes. And as you can see, it's just about... All of the outside is done. Just waiting on the middle to cook. So, yeah. And I guess that while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and start building what goes around this egg. Because, yeah, that's going to be yummy, too. Okay, so, I'm back again. I decided to do something sort of like egg on toast. So, what you see here is a disc. I like the bread a little bit crispier on the bottom. Of homemade potato bread. That's going to be our base. I'm going to turn you for a minute so I can use my right hand. Okay. Then we're gonna, gonna top it with the meat topping, which is actually just breakfast sausage that I sauteed and crumbled with some onion, some sweet onion, garlic, and a little leftover roasted butternut squash. See, tossed it all in the skillet together. I cooked the sausage first, and then, then I took the sausage out of the pan, I sauteed the onions and garlic in the, well, it really wasn't much grease in this sausage, but in a little bit of the fat from the sausage and I added a little vegetable oil. Then I added, then I diced the butternut squash up a bit smaller than what I had originally cut it as to cook it. I don't know if you can see all the nice colors there. See the orange of that butternut squash? But yeah, and so then I tossed the meat back in and I let it cook down a little bit more so that everything would kind of, all the flavors would kind of combine. Now we're just waiting on the egg and then I'm going to top it with some, well it's not really sausage gravy but country gravy, the white pepper gravy. 
because that's delicious with anything on anything with breakfast sausage in it um what else so told you i had my coffee in the french press see it that's it there i also put a link to where i got the french press from oh there there's my hand down below um my coffee cup just kind of came from walmart and with the french press you boil the water you put the coffee in in the french press then you add the water when it's not quite boiling anymore but still hot let it sit put the lip top on let it sit for about five minutes five to ten minutes then you plunge it down it's got a little plunger in there you plunge it down to get all the coffee bits down to the bottom so that you don't end up with them in your cup as you can see I've already added my my milk and sugar because apparently I am out of cream oh and it also has one side where it closes on the crunch press and one side that also works as an additional strainer because clearly y'all want to see me pour my morning coffee Like I say, this little cup came from Walmart. Super cool. Comes in a pack, and pack with I don't I think five, maybe somewhere between three and five. And each one has its own little lid, so you feel like you're having a fancy coffee all the time. And we're gonna go check back on the egg. I think it's just about done. Still a little runny. We're close, we're close. Okay, so I'm back and the egg is done. Or at least I'm assuming it is. I'm hoping it is. So you just turn it off. Let's get it out of the pot. Take your top, take your tongs, grab one of the edges. And I'm just gonna sit it on the stove so y'all can get a good look at it. Let's see? The white seems to be fully cooked, what you see there is where I accidentally got water into it, so I'm going to take our egg and go over to our plate, bowl, our dish basically. And Okay. Hold on, y'all. Apparently, there's a step I forgot. You're supposed to apply a little oil to the to the cup so that your egg pops out and unfortunately I did it and yeah ended up having to scrape my egg out and I think my egg may be overcooked because it's supposed to be it's supposed to have a runny center so I'm just on top of it today you hear me stirring my, my gravy Just gonna pop the gravy right on top, kinda like it was a hollandaise. Eggs Benedict. That's what it is. Take on Eggs Benedict. So there you have it.